Schultze is not big into exercise. We usually have to coax him to go for too much of a walk. Um, usually he will walk about 30 feet outside of the cabin front door and then he will go down about 50 feet down to the creek behind the cabin. Um, outside of that, he likes you to escort him. He's only wandered off once and that was a few years back when we first started building up here and we had to go looking for him and I think that scared Schultze. So much so that he just does not wander far. Uh, whenever he has gotten overly active, he has a bad bad leg that sometimes he hurts. So we don't we try not to get him too moving too fast. Um, he needs exercise, yes, but because of his size, we have to be prudent on what we do with him. All right, come back this way. So brave, wait for him to realize he's by himself. There he realized it. He says there's somebody out there. Scary, scary person. I go home. I go home. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, Speedy. Come on, Sultry Boy. We're coming, bud. Lots of times he'll come out here. You see how Sia's got his hand on him. He won't go, he won't move. If, if somebody's walking forward beyond the gate up here uh, without knowing that you're touching him. St. Bernard's are not guard dogs by any, any stretch of the imagination. They're lovable, they're great family dogs, but they would watch somebody rob you blind. <laughs> True? True. It might even help a little bit. <laughs> Just so they could go back to sleep. Now these beasties scare him. <laughs> you beasties scare him, yeah. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. How's everybody tonight? Huh? How's everybody tonight? You're looking good. Yeah. You're looking good. Well, there's Camel. Uh, don't eat the cord. There's Burrow. <laughs> Which one's Burrow? The one who's eating the cord. Well, he's in the cord. All right, go back into your hut where you're dry. In case you didn't know it, it's snowing out. Goats don't like snow. No. Nobody do like treats. Yeah. 